Day 41. We put up a bluebird house. <coughs> and yes, it's not facing the backyard because bluebirds like their homes facing east. Put our first plant in the garden. I thought this was a good place for a pagoda plant. So there you have it. We have our own palm tree. Miley Alexander signs are up. And so is my Biden Harris sign. We have been stuck on certain projects. We absolutely need a gutter. He's coming tomorrow afternoon. Him and his father are from Queens. So I hope that this gutters thing will get done quickly. We finally sold the dog run. Got some money for it. Going into the backyard. No, the tree guy is not here. I think we're working on 10 days. It's been 10 days. We've been waiting for him to seed the property. He doesn't return our phone calls. We've been very nice about it. Now if you look way back there, you can see where all the crap is still piled up. We have bathroom tile and concrete blocks broken along that fence line, like you've seen in the other video. Lee won't clear it out. So once the lawn is established, Gordon and I are going to take care of it ourselves. All right, so here is my lovely live oak. And we got some lovely trees. There's our lorry tree. It's actually named, a, it's actually a laurel. We got some beautiful trees on the property. And some more. I think these are live oak. When the branches are twisty like that. Alright. I was making good progress on the screened in porch. It has come to a flying halt, obviously, because I want the yard to be done. I don't want anybody kicking up dirt when we're trying to paint this porch. It will be white. You see that panel right there? Your father sprayed it. Gordon sprayed it. Came out really nice. So that's what we're going to do with this porch. Ah, and Helen and Paul, housewarming present. And we got to fix up that ceiling. will also be white. We got to put a gate in on this side. We're going to go with field wire. Matt's my fence line that I share with Matt is pretty damn clean, except for all the vines. And then, um, I just got to make sure it's secure that the dogs can't go under the fence. Got some nice trees in the front. We think this tree was hit by 
lightning. We think that's a lightning mark. Happens a lot down here. This sidewalk has got to get taken care of. We're going to big, put a big cement patio there, but the gutters have to get done first. And this fencing is old. We're going to replace it with more field wire. Now, for those who have been on my agility field, this is the stretch of yard alongside the driveway. It is 90 feet by 100 feet, which is almost as big as my agility field. My agility field is 88 feet by 133. So that's interesting. Some more lovely trees here. I'm starting to like the gray color of the house, so God help me. There's my favorite bumper sticker. Super callous, fragile, bigot, sexist, he's atrocious. Garage door opener works. We each have one. That's our well system. Uh, about 25 feet from the house, where the dirt kind of goes like a little bit, a little bit of a depression. That's where the well is underground. Here's the garage. Here's my bathtub. It's all hooked up. I am going to put a grooming table there next to it. And then a table to put all my grooming gear crap on. Now, the pipes go up into the ceiling and across. They were up in the attic for a long time. I don't know why. This is our air conditioning system for the house. Here's the master bedroom. Gordon's been very, very busy. is the lovely bathroom. Plenty of room to sit. This vanity is going to go. We're going to get a smaller vanity with an upright cabinet that goes all the way to the ceiling. This is our view out to the yard. Here we are in the kitchen. So here's the thought. Kitchen table's gonna go there in front of the kitchen window, like at John's. Breakfast bar will be on this side, maybe. So where does the microwave go? If we put the breakfast bar on this side, it intrudes on the space in this small area. You could put the microwave up there to get rid of the flu. We lose the cabinets. You could put it somewhere on this limited countertop. 
That's the return for the air conditioning. Another housewarming gift. Thank you, John and Jerry. Gordon's been busy. This is the ugly fireplace room. Thank God it's gone. Nice views out the windows. Here's the other guest bedroom. We're gonna leave it. There's nothing wrong with it. The closet needs to be redone, but it's not at the top of the list. Guest bath. The gray floor with the brown tile is not working for me. And look, put the toilet tissue holder on the wall where the guest towel has to be. I put the guest towel holder over there. We're going to do the same floor throughout the whole house. We're thinking a wood-looking floor on the dark on the darker side, not too dark. Here's the rubber room. 